Well, 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 another Reference Wednesday. That's right, ladies and gentlemen. We're gonna be using this 500 plus female character expressions. Uh, I've actually used this one before during a Twitch stream. I don't stream on Twitch that often, in case you're wondering, maybe like once a year. Uh, anyway, so yeah, I just um, used this before. I kind of want to dive into it again because expressions are pretty fun to study and it's good preparation for my portrait painting course that I'm currently building. Be sure to check out the link in the description. It is an affiliate link, so it helps me if you buy these reference packs. And I think there's a 20% off code if you use Ahmed Alduri, A-H-M-E-D-A-L-D-O-R-I. <gasps> Let's dive into it. Here we have the gesture drawing app. Link is also in the description. Gonna set it for five minutes each. We'll click Let's Draw. Okay, all right, okay. This microphone is in my way. Not anymore. I'm gonna grab uh, this brush. Brushes are also in the description. They're free, just put zero in the field on Gumroad and hit enter with your email. Blah, blah, blah. All right, first drawing of the day. We'll see how it goes. It's gonna go terrible. Of, of course, of course it will. But that's okay. Uh, it's gonna lay in some some landmarks. Uh, as I'm doing this, I'm not really focused on uh, form at this point, or in terms of um, you know where the eye socket is and like three heads tall, whatever or whatever. Um, dividing things into thirds and all that. Instead, I'm looking at just the graphic shapes that the nostril is making with the eyebrow, or I'm sorry, the eyelashes, the eyebrows, and the mouth. So I can kind of just squint and. Let me just pause this so I can explain. If I can sort of just break that down in terms of there's a shape here, a shape there, here, there. Like that. Uh, within this stuff, then everything else will fall into place. It looks weird, of course, but getting really good at knowing the, rela the relationship between this shape that shape, this shape, and that shape, and they all build off of each other. They sort of make a constellation of landmarks. If you can sort of look at their relationship and relativity in terms of, okay, well, uh, the nostril lines up about here with that, kind of makes a triangle. Uh, you skip over this way and then that way. In, in the sense, we're using two-dimensional shape finding to set up our drawing. Now, I could have definitely Instead, just made a, uh, you know, a three-dimensional face and try to construct a nose and uh, make it like 3D and make sure the center line is here. And There's a lot of ways to go about it. Um, and I mix a lot between different approaches. But in the case of this one, I feel like the easiest approach, and that's usually what I do, uh, is a 2D shape method where I'm looking for very easy landmark shapes and then building off of them. As, as I say that, here I am doing the construction method um, of figuring stuff out. So let's just go ahead and turn that layer off, bring this one back and continue. Notice uh, the landmark placements of all these graphic shapes. They're not perfect. Mm, they don't have to be. The point is practice and study. I'm just so bored with trying to be super accurate. Although it definitely has its merits and I would definitely recommend um, every artist go through trying to be careful and accurate. Just not right now in my class. <laughs> now zoom out. I'm going to try to see where this black shape uh, will be. Let's just turn that layer off, delete it. So it kind of looks like a, uh, I don't know, like a, like a, I don't know how to describe it. Kind of like an axe shape, like a, like the blade of an axe. Yeah, something like that. And everything just falls into place. I think I might have drawn it too high, but that's fine. I think the nostrils ought to be higher. 
Yeah, there we go. That's a tough uh, expression to draw because we're so used to a certain proportion of drawing the head and suddenly when the mouth is yelling or screaming or laughing or open, the jaw goes down. So suddenly all those proportions that we learned are like completely thrown out the window. So there's a lot of uh, adjustment period that happens with all that. I guess she's kind of winking. All right. Definitely a tough one to, to make it look right for this one. That's eh, a decent warm up though. It looks like, see like it's tough to get it, get the mouth to look like it's smiling there. All right, cool. Moving on, thank God. <sighs> okay, uh, so we got an ear. I sometimes like to start with the ear as a landmark and kind of build off of that, like a jigsaw puzzle. Got a nice shape there of this uh, highlight situation. And kind of just piece the puzzle pieces together because I know that the pieces fit. Because I've watched them fall away, oftentimes mildewed and smoldering. There's a fundamental differing. If you have pure intention juxtaposed, it'll set two lovers' souls in motion, disintegrating as it goes. And it's there, testing our communication. For the light that fueled the fire once has burned a hole between us, so we cannot seem to reach an end, crippling our communication. What? You don't... you don't speak in Tool lyrics? <laughs> Alright, dude. Um... Okay. So there's another exercise where I'm not using the approach of construction or form entirely. It, it is a little bit a mix of both uh, form as well as 2D shape placement. practice the more it'll just kind of all come together everything landing in the right place where it needs to be or not that cheek shape was off Okay, yeah, it's coming together. Uh, I did peek up a little bit over at the uh, thumbnail in the navigator window up there just to see how um, it felt as though I kind of zoomed out or stepped away. All the places seem to be close enough in order to get that right look. Uh, right there when I just put that shape, I kind of just looked at this as a kind of bow and arrow S-curve, kind of locking in that, um, or framing the ear there. And as I draw this next curve, I'm gonna make sure it aligns at the center line of the nose. So it's gonna be about, you know, right there. And then I can go in there and subdivide it with the actual braids and, and uh, the hairstyle afterward. Gonna go ahead and fill that all in. You get a nice triangle pattern here to represent that information. Might have 
drawn the neck too long for this uh, pose. I think this should be a little bit higher. Because if you notice in the reference, the chin, let me pause it, the chin kind of makes a, let's say, landmark position. And if you take that lining to keep going, that, that trapezius muscle or the shoulder lines up right with that. And look what I did. I made it way too low where it should be up here. So I often forget to look for those landmark uh, relationships between shapes. And then now we can find out where the other side is. So, so first it started by aligning with the chin there. And now I can bounce back this way, and it seems to just just miss that chin coming back. So it kind of does uh, something like that. It doesn't quite, you know, go back like this. But it goes like that. There. I've paused it. That's fine. All this should be in a darker value group because of the shadow. If I really want to get carried away, I can get in there and erase where those highlights are on the left side. But I think I'm going to move on to the next drawing. Apparently not. Cool, yeah, let's just move on. All right, not much of an expression there. Eh, that's cool. Let's go next. We already did a smiling one like that. Is, that's crazy. Let's go with that. Very much like a Harley Quinn kind of uh, expression or kind of um, jinx from League of Legends. So here I'm just going to put um, just these landmark points for the corners of the mouth, and that'll kind of give me the information of wow, literally a, a triangle just uh, coming off of both of those to tell us where the, the the I guess top part of that side part of the nose is. And I'm just laying in some basic tick marks and landmarks. Uh, real quick demo regarding uh, smiling. So if you have uh, you know somebody doing a smiling shape and you know let's say you don't have too much time to indicate smiling um, like you know going in there and drawing all the teeth and whatnot uh, 
you could just put a, a dark shadow there and a dark shadow here and a couple lines like that and it'll make it look like the person is smiling because um, the skull well let's say the maxilla so whatever the uh, the top part of the the teeth which is the bottom part of the maxilla this uh, kind of jawbone area um, has a roundness to it so you can kind of see that the teeth would do something like that uh, and then the bottom part is also round kind of like a, a horseshoe shape that does like a kind of backwards move like that but the, the important thing to remember is that this part is round like a cylinder they call it the barrel of the mouth and so if you were to render a cylinder it kind of has a core shadow and it has a nice fall off like that so when i'm putting in a shape or a dark plate or dark shape here and shading outward to us that's kind of implying a roundness of the the barrel of the mouth and so here um we could sort of cheat that and just put in a shape here a shape there and a bit of shading and then draw in the gums. Um, also, if you're using a dark color for your brush or pen or pencil, uh, I'd recommend not drawing the individual lines for the teeth because it will look kind of weird and uh, like they got to brush your teeth or something. So what I do instead is just draw an indication and let your brain kind of finish that line by just looking at it um, and just kind of draw the teeth in between. I'm, I'm sorry, the lines in between those areas, right? And so now just by doing the, the edges of it like that, it does all the work for us. And all this is in shadow, so we're just going to leave it like that. All right, let's actually get the, the rest of the face drawn in there. Forgot it was paused. All right, so the eyes are really wide open. I'm actually going to exaggerate those eyes and make them way bigger for some uh, stylistic choices as if it was a comic book cover. And uh, if you really want to show somebody being crazy uh, or deranged, you, you let there be the whites of the eyes on the top, the bottom, and the sides um, frame the eye like that. Uh, you could even use the lower eyelid to emphasize a bit of like a twitching eye effect. But personally, I think I'm gonna just leave them like that. Actually, this eye on the right side here, her left eye, I will actually cover it uh, with the bottom eyelid. And it really sells that kind of deranged look. Yeah, I wasn't done with that. Go back. Oh, wait a second. Why is it flipped? Huh? Okay, I guess I'll flip my drawing.
We go next. That's a good one. So the first shape I see is this kind of like diamond. So I'm just going to lay that diamond right in, right? Shadow shape gives me a good landmark to kind of place this triangle right underneath it. Okay, shade that in real quick. Shade this in real quick. And then it sets it up for everything else. Another triangle right up here as an offshoot of the diamond. And I squint my eyes and I see this as a big triangle. So I'm just going to lay that in like that for now. And as I'm still squinting, I'm seeing another triangle over here on the other outside. Now to find the placement of the, I guess, the nose, if you notice this diamond is kind of pointing right at it. So let's make sure the diamond shape kind of feels close enough and literally pointing to where we need to be. Can we locate that? Hmm. There doesn't seem to be any easy, quick landmarks for that, so I'm just going to go ahead and eyeball it. Well, actually, there is a kind of triangle here. I'll get to the mouth in a second. Just gonna clean up some other stuff. All right, so it's probably something like this. Gonna draw the gums in. Clean this one up instead of uh, moving on to another one. Just really want to make this work. Okay, good session. All right, we got deranged expression, smiling, laughing, and then a sort of disgusted look where she's like, where's your manager? Uh, this one's definitely my favorite. It's like, you know, feels loose, organic, has all the values there. But, uh, you know, I updated my mental library of subtleties of what happens during uh, certain expressions on different faces, so that was good. All right. Thanks for joining along for this Reference Wednesday. Be sure to check out the links in the description if you want to buy these reference packs. Really good stuff. And definitely make sure you're subscribed. I'm going to be releasing my course very soon. Hit the like button. Helps me. Helps the channel. Blah, 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 etc., etc. All right. See you next time.